Welcome to some cacao and knowledge. So I'm going to make three videos today and this is really to help you understand how you can actually enjoy cacao from the actual sun-dried cacao bean. And it's just incredible, so good for you. And I'm doing it here in my own kitchen because I want to show everybody that you can do this at home with whatever equipment you have. We do this in the villages where cacao grows, where there isn't necessarily any power or any special tools. So you most definitely can do this at home as well. So this time we're going to actually take the cacao beans. These are beautiful Solomon Island sun-dried cacao beans. So these have already been fermented and sun-dried, which means most of the moisture is taken out of them. And this is how normally they're shipped to say chocolate making companies. These beans are absolutely pure gold. So good for you in every way. And this is a whole new time for us to enjoy cacao on a daily basis. So I've just set up a little induction cooker here, but you just do this at home on your cooker as you're used to. I shall pop it on and I'm just going to reduce the temperature, okay? Because we don't want it too hot. So this is sitting at about 800. It's about five at, on your cooker at home if it's an electric cooker. And you want the pan to warm up. So you want to actually get heat in the pan before you place your beans on the pan. We're not working with hot temperatures. Inside this beautiful golden bean, there is cacao butter. 50% of the bean is cacao butter. And cacao butter burns at a really low temperature, so we don't want to high roast our beans. Cacao beans are very different to say coffee beans, which need a high roast. These need a gentle, warm, loving roast. And also what you're going to start to experience as soon as we start to roast them, the most gorgeous chocolate fragrance. So watch out, the neighbors could come knocking as soon as you start this. So now I'm starting to feel heat, but not too hot. I can keep my hand on it. And I'm gonna place the beans in the pan. And I'm just gonna spread them out. So it's probably a little bit too many beans there, so I'm gonna take some out. Because I want every bean to actually touch the bottom of the pan. So take a few more out. So each bean actually weighs about a gram. So if you wanna make 100 grams of your own chocolate, then you need to have probably about 125 actual beans because by the time we take the shell off, which is about 25% of the weight, we'll be left with 100 grams of beans. Okay, so I'm happy with that. Now it's just like popcorn. They all have to touch the bottom, touch the surface. And what we're going to do now is start to wait for them to actually get heat into them. We're just gonna sit with them. Maybe it's about two minutes, but I'm not. it's not pedantic because remember every bean is unique depending on the origin, the country they've come from, how they've been dried. So what you have to do more than anything is connect with the beans and listen. So it's great to follow recipes, but the greatest power in cooking and being creative in cuisine is actually your own intuition and your own listening. So that's what I really want you to do is just be with the beans, feel them, smell them, because it will all change as they start to gain their fragrance, as they start to release their, their, their beautiful um, properties as they heat up. So the beans have been roasting beautifully for probably about five to six minutes now. And I'm gonna actually turn off the, the heat because I can feel that they're getting quite close and those last few minutes could actually create that burning. But if you really listen, listen closely, apart from the, the fan of the induction cooker, you'll actually start to hear them crackle. And you might get some actually popping quite loud and that can give you a bit of a fright, but it's the cacao very loudly saying we're ready. We're beautifully ready to go. So if I take one, it's quite hot, but if I give it a little squeeze, I can feel that the husk, the shell is actually quite separate from the bean. So I know, yep, that's perfect. They're ready and it will peel off beautifully. Okay, so see that gorgeous bean inside? Isn't that just stunning? <gasps> it's so beautiful. Now, it's still, it's, it's not too hot that I, you know, I can actually eat this, but as you can see, it's actually quite soft because that's because all that cocoa butter has gone soft inside. As soon as that bean cools down, it will go hard again. All right, so we're gonna get our beans off. We're gonna spread them out. And now we have our beautifully roasted cacao beans. Gentle roast so that all the goodness is still in there because we don't wanna lose any of that goodness, right? All the antioxidants, magnesium, iron, all the minerals, and also all that beautiful goodness that releases the um, endorphins and serotonin into our blood that makes us happy. Okay, so now you just want them to cool down. 
and then you're going to actually slowly peel them. So what we're going to do now is make three products. We're going to make the whole peel bean, because remember what we said, eight beans a day, and in the Solomon Islands we say eight beans a day keeps the doctor away. So we're going to peel the beans. I'm used to this, so my fingers are a little bit tougher. Some people might find them a little bit too hot at this stage. Okay. The first one I'm going to eat. Yum. <laughs> so good. Now I've got three jars here. The first jar I'm going to pop in the shell. The second jar I will pop in the beans. Or as they start to cool down, if the bean breaks, then I shall pop in the husk. As the bean starts to cool down, they may start to crumble. And when a bean breaks down into little pieces, that's called the cacao and nib. So a lot of people know about nibs, cocoa nibs. It's actually the whole cacao being broken down into little pieces. Like that. There you go, you've got the cacao and nib. So we should pop those into our third jar. Beautiful. Now I always keep a jar of these close by the cooker, so when I'm cooking, I add them to so many things. So you can actually take a few moments or just think of different things you could add the cacao nibs to that you might not have thought of before because it's just, it's got a crunch to it. It actually has over 200 tasting notes in it. So it really merges with other flavors and foods so incredibly. So for example, I have a beautiful, you know, breakfast bowl here with chopped fruit, a beautiful coconut yogurt, a little bit of granola. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some cacao nibs on top. Okay, so now I get an extra crunch, I get my antioxidants, got a little bit of complexity, got a little bit of chocolate, but no sugar. So you've got the beautiful health benefits there. I've got a little tossed salad here. And I'm just gonna sprinkle some cacao nibs on top. Again, it adds a crunch. They won't go, they won't go soft. It has a complex depth of flavor and it also amplifies all the other flavors in the dish because it has those 200 tasting notes. So you can actually eat cacao, chocolate, throughout the day in so many different ways. The main thing is you want to get a minimum of eight grams a day, keeps the doctor away, but then add to it, but also find the, your own way of enjoying it. So it becomes part of your, your daily life because it is a daily habit. It's not addictive, but it's really, really a fundamental food that we all should be enjoying to bring joy, energy, and upliftment to our lives.